apparently I've been arrested. Apparently I'm right now in jail. Apparently there's some article about me in the Daily Mail. Yo, what's up, boys? Yo, yep. what's good? Uh, nothing much, man. Honestly, just making a vegan teacher video right now. Dude, d just stop milking it. Stop. Stop milking vegan teacher. Stop. Dude, wait, why so much vegan teacher, bro? Are you kidding me? Dude, wh why Why are you guys bullying me? What? It's just, just because, bro, you're, you're not supposed to make that many vegan teacher videos, dude. What are you doing? No. Oh. Get done, you I'm what is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video on the Pointless YouTube channel. Now listen, as you all know, we've been doing a lot of vegan teacher videos on the channel again, since you know she's been actually being a topic people want to hear about. And you know, what better a time to go ahead and go over the entire situation that vegan teacher talked about where she was supposedly arrested and, you know, went to jail. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. But before we do, if you guys don't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. But uh, yeah, you know, when we hit 50k, I plan on doing a face reveal. So, uh, yeah, make sure to sub. You're, you're not gonna want to miss that. Also, make sure to stick to the end because you're not gonna want to miss this at all. It's gonna get insane, like, honestly. Anyways, let's go ahead and watch the clip. Apparently, I've been arrested. Apparently, I'm right now in jail. Apparently, there's some article about me in the Daily Mail. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I'm just sitting here at home writing an animal liberation song. For those of you who, you know, want context as to exactly what she's talking about, there were a whole bunch of rumors going around saying that she had been arrested, that she had been charged with, you know, a whole bunch of different, you know, crimes. And while it was honestly massive at the time, this was actually a few months back, but she did end up recently addressing it again for some reason on a stream with another hardcore vegan named Vegan Game, who if this video gets a thousand likes, I will be making a video on soon. Very, very soon. So make sure to get to <laughs> go. Bleh. So make sure to get this to a thousand likes. To you. Yeah. Um. Well, you know. Uh. No. I, I'm absolutely thrilled when people call me a homophobic. Um. I just. I just love it when they tell lies about me breaking laws and. Well, as you can see from that clip right there, she isn't too fond of the videos me and my friends have been making on her. But I mean, who cares? It's Miss Katie Karen. I honestly couldn't care less what she has to say or what she thinks because uh, she's the one who got arrested, not me. But no, seriously, this woman has done some insane things her entire career. I, I, the, 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 the. She's done some insane things her entire career. I mean, she said some crazy stuff, some crazy, crazy offensive stuff, dude. This woman has no limits, honestly, at all. You no, know, it's sad that the vegan community is being represented by someone who is this honestly cringe, just overall insensitive, and just overall who doesn't think about anyone but themselves. Please, everyone, don't believe the rumors. Stay calm. Watch Dominion.com. Please stop texting me and freaking out and calling me. Watch Dominion.com. Vegan phobia is real. They will do anything. Anything. Lie, steal your phone number, dox your address. They'll do whatever to try to get you to stop being an animal rights activist. This is how powerful these industries are. The meat, dairy, and egg industries need to be stopped. They're trying to stop us, but it won't work. Okay, Miss Katie Karen, whatever you say, your entire little speech you did there, your entire little Watch Dominion.com song is not gonna make me stop eating chicken nuggets, Big Macs, drinking milkshakes, enjoying my life. It's honestly, like, to me, at this point, I don't have a problem with veganism, vegan rights, or the activism they do. I, I have no problem with it, but it's just the fact that this woman represents it, I guess. And the fact that she goes around acting like every single human being on this planet, I kid you not, every single human is a bad person because they choose not to consume celery uh, hummus and leaves like a stray cow if someone wants to choose to eat something or they want to choose to you know specifically do something with their life that has nothing to do with you and quite frankly you shouldn't care and i hate when people use the argument of oh well uh you know she's doing this for a good cause or she's doing it for this doing it for that you know you can have your own opinions on anything that's obviously fine freedom of speech sure but there's a difference between not supporting something of course standing up for it and you know trying 
trying to get people to change or you know try to give it a shot but and there's also a difference between you beating a dead horse when people are obviously not gonna change because if we take a look at the you know entire world most people are not vegan and while i highly doubt vegan teacher has done much uh for the entire cause of veganism if anything i think she's had a handful of people go vegan other than that i don't see it actually having any effect on the world like majorly i, I don't know why she continues to do this but all that aside let's go ahead and watch another insane video from that vegan teacher's channel since the since the, uh you, you get an idea of the arrested stuff because she went after gordon ramsay and i decided why not let's go ahead and watch it so uh, yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into it hello students today we're going to talk about the devil the devil's name is gordon ramsay Oh my god, guys, hide everything. Gordon Ramsay is confirmed the devil by that vegan teacher, Miss Katie Cameron, the absolute god of YouTube. Yeah, okay, because this guy consumes meat, and he's not a vegan, and he doesn't want to devote his life. Sorry, my mind cut out while I, while I was recording, but on long story short, what I was trying to say, just because this guy doesn't want to devote his life to veganism, and he doesn't want to consume hummus, that means he's the devil? You know, I honestly don't like saying this, but this woman is actually off her meds. She needs some kind of help, and I, I mean that with all due respect. I've never in my life seen a person supposedly be, you know, mentally stable, talk about stuff, and be this stupid. Like, everything that's come out of her mouth has made the opposite of actual sense, dude. Like, she's just absolutely, I, I guess, off of a perk. A devil is defined as a creature, a being, that does nothing but harm in the world. Now, you might look at him, Gordon Ramsay, and say to yourself, well, he seems like a nice guy. He's able to crack some jokes. His family look healthy and happy. They're always seen joking around, and there's always happy music. But look a little bit deeper. What's really going on? When you have a lot of money, you can pay people to film you in whatever light that you want. You can put cameras in the right places, and you can insert music and make your life seem like one giant trip to Disneyland. He's achieved this but it doesn't make him a good person. Grr, Gordon Ramsay has money and he's rich and successful, grr, and he eats meat, ew, he's the devil, oh my god. I honestly can't tell you the point that 2020, I honestly can't explain how bad the point 2021 has come to, dude, because there's literally people who act like this in 2021, I thought the Shane Dawson, and the, 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 I thought the Shane Dawson era of conspiracy theories has been gone, alright? I, I thought it's been left, but it's still here because you got this woman continuing to push the agenda that Gordon Ramsay is the devil. Yeah, it's confirmed. I'm literally just blabbering on at this point, dude. Somebody help me. All of the money that he has made is on the backs of innocent animals who have been murdered because of him, who never wanted to die, who died begging for their lives. Now, people don't think of chickens, pigs, cows, and lambs that often because we've been so indoctrinated in our society to think of them as objects, but they're not objects and they should not be eaten. Science has proven to us that we don't need to eat animals to survive. Then tell me why every time I eat a Big Mac, I feel better than ever. And given that fact, and given the fact that he is able to work in the kitchen, there's no excuse for him to keep paying for the murder of these animals. Why would he do it? I ask myself that. Why would he keep doing it? Well, there are a few reasons. One is that maybe he's not such a good chef after all. Maybe he really doesn't know how to cook. Yeah, of course, the most popular chef in the world doesn't actually know how to cook. It's been a joke this entire time. It's to the point where this woman's stupidity isn't even a meme, it's just it's just purely just annoying. Like, please shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. This man is known around the world for his cooking. I mean, some of the best cooking out there, and you're telling me he actually doesn't know what he's doing? Okay, shut up. I don't wanna hear, oh, he has a show and it's just for money. That's a, a, a shut up, because he wouldn't have money in the first place. This show is what gets him money there's real customers that come to the show I swear this woman always has my blood boiling dude she's so cringe delicious vegetables and fruits and make them into these amazing meals maybe he's not such a good chef after all or he's a kind of psychopath who really cannot see into the eyes of an animal and see them as sentient beings maybe he truly is disconnected most people watching here 
know that if they look at a dog, they can tell whether the dog's happy or not. They know that dogs and cats and all animals are able to feel pain. If you try to come close to them, they can be afraid. If you try to take them away from their families, they don't want that. Animal uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do the norm. Let one of my friends take over for the rest of the video. Tag Swag, take it away, bro. I, I can't deal with this woman's insanity anymore. Uh, Thank you, bro. Uh, I appreciate you taking over. Yo, leave a like on the video for ice cream. Just do it. Just don't even ask questions. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And I didn't really know what to talk about for today. So I decided, f*** it. I'm going to revisit an old topic that I didn't really cover. And of course, this topic involves our best friend. The person who pretty much just made my career. That vegan teacher. Because of of course it seems like she gets herself into some sh like every day so remember that live stream i was watching the other day with her and vegan gains she mentioned a time where people said that she was actually being arrested to you yeah um well you know uh no I i'm absolutely thrilled when people call me a homophobic um i just i just love it when they tell lies about me breaking laws and, and now i decided to do some research and by that i mean one google search of course and i found an article explaining the entire situation right now i'm kind of going in blind here i'm not too sure what to think but as of right now i really don't think this is actually a real story i think it was just a rumor before we jump in consider subscribing if you enjoy the content around here and if you really enjoy the content if you're really feeling generous turn on notifications if you don't want to miss a video and yeah here we go so i'm gonna briefly go over this article that is right in front of us here the title is is that vegan teacher in jail right now details on the arrest rumor self-proclaimed animal rights activist katie karen dykemeyer has become a tiktok sensation after going viral for her videos about promoting a vegan lifestyle the former elementary school teacher uses her platform to encourage people to go vegan and protect animals well i mean i honestly had no clue that she was an elementary school teacher before well you know what if i got miss katie for the year ah oh, fuck i'm out dude i'm packing my bags i'm moving i'm leaving get the u-haul truck but yeah anyways moving on that vegan teacher as she is known on TikTok has gained more than 1 million followers. Well, unfortunately, those 1 million followers have gone to smithereens now after she literally just got snapped off the platform. However, her approach to educating followers on the importance of nutritional value of being a vegan has been questioned. Though that vegan teacher sometimes uses songs to get her message across, her tunes are littered with profanity. She also has accused those who eat meat to be promoting murder. And now that's just a whole debate I really don't want to get into. Like I've just talked about that so much, I just don't even want to bother. Rumor alert, why is that vegan teacher going to jail? Was she really arrested? A rumor surfaced about that vegan teacher claiming she's been arrested. According to a YouTube video the rumor started after that vegan teacher seemingly poked fun at a commentator who claimed the friend died after going vegan now i'm pretty sure this rumor also spread on tiktok too and that's why it got so big one of the tiktoks talking about it went viral so i'm gonna assume that's why this whole situation blew up in the first place wait a damn minute is that vegan teacher actually in jail one person asked another individual tweeted so i saw that vegan teacher is allegedly going to jail in canada it's illegal to call yourself a teacher if you're not one so if she's going or is in jail another added i got great news the vegan teacher who forced people to be vegan said that people who eat meat should go to hell said false information like god is vegan veganism is a religion and scares kids is going to be arrested i bet she's going to eat meat in jail and if she actually went to jail how would that even work like would she actually be forced to eat meat yeah there's no way they're going to put up with that crap they're definitely going to say suck it up lady you're eating meat i'm sorry it's either that or starve uh, she would definitely be the type to go to jail and ask if there were any vegan options. I know she would do it. I know she would. And imagine her with her ukulele in the cell making songs every night. Oh my god. She would get beat up and within the first few days. And of course, that vegan teacher denied it because it's obviously a rumor that went way too far. And what I'm thinking is somebody probably brought up the fact that like, oh, it's illegal to call yourself a teacher if you're not one. You might get in trouble for that or you might get a fine. And somebody probably took it as, oh my god, that vegan teacher's gonna get arrested. No way, guys. Oh my god. But seriously, that's probably what happened it happens like all the time on tiktok shit just gets blown out of proportion so easily as much as i dislike the things that vegan teacher does as much as it hurts to defend the vegan teacher tiktok fucked up on this one i'm just saying unless she actually did commit a criminal offense of course but of course it's vegan teacher so she made a song defending herself apparently i've been arrested apparently i'm right now in jail apparently there's some article about me in the daily mail 
I have no idea what the hell is going on. I'm just sitting here at home writing an animal liberation song. Please, everyone, don't believe the rumors. Stay calm. Watch Dominion.com. Okay, I don't think she should have addressed it like this. I feel like she should have just addressed it formally because it's a pretty serious rumor. Although the rumor was probably blown the fuck out of proportion, I still think she should have responded formally. Like, because it's a pretty heavy accusation. Just say. It's not that. Or make sure that during your vacation, you uh, go to an animal sanctuary to help the animals. It wasn't that. And that too. No way no one's wearing a shirt that says, make sure you go to an animal sanctuary on your vacation. Like, that would be too big of a message to fit on the shirt. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there. These vlogs are just funny. Like, they're really entertaining to react to. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss an upload. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.